Well, if you like a good laugh, get ready for a cracker, because this will sure have you giggling. Before we go any further, make sure you click subscribe and then click the little bell so you get the notifications. Ha! <laughs> All right then, here we go. The worst hairdresser ever. This woman had it coming. A woman who was at her hairdresser's getting her hair styled for a trip to Rome with her husband mentioned the trip to her hairdresser. Rome? Why would anyone want to go there? asked the hairdresser. It's crowded and dirty. You're crazy to go to Rome. So, uh, how are you getting there? We're taking Continental, she replied. We got a great rate. Continental, exclaimed the hairdresser. It's a terrible airline. Their planes are old, their flight attendants are ugly, and they're always late. So, uh, where are you staying in Rome? Oh, we'll be at this exclusive little place over on the River Tiber. It's called Testy. Don't go any further. I know that place. Everybody thinks it's going to be something special and exclusive, but it's really a dump. We're going to the Vatican, and maybe we'll get to see the Pope. Ah, that's rich, laughed the hairdresser. You and a million other people trying to see him. He'll look like the size of an ant. Boy, good luck on this lousy trip of yours. You're going to need it. Anyway, a month later, the woman came in for another hairdo. The hairdresser asked her about her trip to Rome. It was wonderful, explained the woman. Not only were we on time in one of Continental's brand new planes, but it was overbooked and they bumped us up to first class. The food and wine were wonderful and I had a handsome 28-year-old steward who waited on me hand and foot. And the hotel, oh, it was great. they just finished a $5 million remodelling job and now it's a jewel. One of the finest hotels in the city. They, too, were overbooked, so they apologised and gave us their owner's suite at no extra charge. Well, muttered the hairdresser, that's all well and good, but I know you didn't get to see the Pope. Actually, she says, we were quite lucky, because as we toured the Vatican, a Swiss guard tapped me on the shoulder and explained that the Pope likes to meet some of his visitors, and if I'd be so kind as to step into his private room and wait, the Pope would personally greet me. Sure enough, five minutes later, the Pope walked through the door and shook my hand. I knelt down and he spoke a few words to me. Oh, really? What'd he say? He asked me, who screwed up your hair? <laughs> Sheriff, this made you laugh. <laughs> that one sure enough gave me a chuckle, I don't know about you. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Love to hear your comments in the messages below. Well, we got stacks more videos like that, so if you like some more jokes, click just here. If you enjoy puzzles and a bit of a brain teaser, then click here. If you like nice heartwarming stories, click here. All right, see you next time.